Well, Native American artifacts are being celebrated as they return home. Today, the items cross Puget Sound from the University of Washington to the Suquamish Reservation. King 5's Lori Matsukawa is just back with the story. Lori. These artifacts were taken care of by the Burke Museum for decades. They come from the site of Old Man House near Agate Pass, the largest native longhouse in the Salish Sea and the ancestral home of Chief Seattle himself. It was as if the orca knew something special was on board. When they come in and show themselves um, like they did today, that's a good message that we're doing something positive for the people. Ancient artifacts belonging to the Suquamish tribe are lovingly welcomed home. For more than 50 years, the Burke Museum at the University of Washington has cared for the items, most excavated where the old man house used to stand near Agate Pass. Well, we had many of our elders, of course, that helped build the, um, the house, and those included Chief Kitsap and Chief Seattle's father, and then also uh, Chief Seattle lived at the house. And here we can see the ads marks that were made from ancient stone tools. And these were all handmade, and this whole house was built, you know, with the strength of the tribe and without any modern technology. So this is really, really exciting. The new Suquamish Museum was built specifically to preserve such significant items. But to have a comb with this fine of tines, I have never seen anywhere. Some 500 artifacts were returned, most in amazing condition. It is very old, and it did indeed come from the old man house site. So we know Suquamish used it and made it. Tribal chairman Leonard Forsman says the artifacts provide a lesson for future generations. I think the most important thing is to be proud of who they are and proud of the fact that they're Suquamish people and uh, that they have a rich heritage. A heritage with a tangible connection to the past. Tonight, the tribe is holding a homecoming celebration and hosting a group of native Filipinos who are learning how to preserve their cultural artifacts like the Suquamish tribe here. Lori Matsukawa, King 5 News.